Welcome back. In the last video, we looked at the types of constraints and how to create them. In this video, we will be looking at managing these constraints. We will be looking at editing, removing, and hiding. All the constraints will be accessed from the specification tree. So let's dive in. We have the loaded bench vice assembly that we created the constraints in. Click on the constraints node in the specification tree. This will display the constraints that are within the assembly model. To find out which models are affected by each constraint, we can place the mouse over the constraint. Katia will highlight the models that are affected by the constraint as shown. To change the value of the offset constraint, double-click the constraint and the dimension dialog box will be displayed. The value can be changed. We can pick the reference radio button to change the constraint to reference. Click on the more button in the dialog box to open more options. The more options show the supporting elements for the constraint with information on the status of the constraint the status is whether the constraint is solved or in error. In this dialog box, we can change the orientation of the constraint as shown. Each of the constraints can be changed by double-clicking on them in the specification tree. The other way to edit the constraint is to right-click on the node. In the tree, this opens the context menu where we see the usual suspects, including properties and offset object menu. The offset object will open the next context menu. Here, we can change, update, and deactivate the constraint. We can deactivate it this will switch off the constraint so it is no longer used when the assembly is updated. In changing constraint, we can change what constraint is being used. We can also switch the view state on and off with the name and value of the constraint displayed in the editor window. Also change the order the constraints are displayed in the tree. If we navigate to the properties menu, we can open the properties dialog box. Here, we can change the name of the of the constraint and the color. We can also hide and delete the constraints within the context menu.
Now we have looked at how we can manage the constraints within the assembly to locate the components in the correct place. So the assembly is a good representation of the part that will be drawn. How do we produce an assembly drawing? That will be in the next video.